So at this point, I've got my, uh, my wire secured in the clamp. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through the steps uh, required to solder this joint, but we're going to do it with a cold soldering iron. And I recommend that um, before you go turning on your soldering iron, particularly if you're new to soldering, uh, don't turn on the soldering iron initially. Just go through these steps uh, with a cold soldering iron until you're comfortable with them. And then once you're comfortable with them, you can go ahead and, and turn on the iron. So the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to make sure that we have a clean tip. All right, in this particular case, I'm cleaning this on a, it's a sort of a brass uh, Brillo pad uh, that's that's made for soldering. Uh, these are something that are that are fairly new. Uh, they haven't been around as as long as the traditional uh, sponges. But if you have a sponge, uh, they typically have some slits. Make sure that you dampen the sponge. Um, either one of these will work just fine. The important thing is to clean your tip on a regular basis to keep the tip tinned. And speaking of tinning, um, I've tinned my, my tip, I've put some solder on the tip, I've let it just uh, sit there while the, the soldering iron is, is idling, you know, type thing. And then when I swipe it off, I'll have a nice shiny um, uh, coating, tinning of solder on the end of my uh, soldering iron. All right, so let's go through the steps here. So we've cleaned our, the tip of our soldering iron. What we're going to do is we're going to take the flat portion of the soldering iron tip. Now this particular tip, it's a screwdriver type tip, they call it a chisel tip. It has a flat surface here. We're going to take that flat surface and we're going to uh, place it against the flat uh, portion of the back side of this, uh, of this spade connector. So, so it's uh, touching the back side. Uh, it's going to heat that joint up very, very quickly. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring our solder uh, into the joint, into the, where we want to uh, actually make our joint. And notice that the solder is not touching uh, the actual tip of the soldering iron. The soldering iron tip is behind the terminal. I'm applying the solder from the front of the terminal in the joint where we can see the, uh, the terminal and the, cop the ends of the copper uh, stranded wire. We're going to place that there. Uh, the solder will f uh, start to flow. It'll melt. Uh, and once it starts to do that, we only need a teeny, teeny bit of solder to make these joints. So once we see the solder starts to flow, we're going to remove the solder. We're going to leave th the soldering iron tip on the back of that uh, spade terminal for about two seconds. We're going to count to two, one, two, and then we're going to remove I remove the tip of the iron. All right, so we'll go through that again. We're going to clean our tip. We're going to put the tip, the flat portion of that uh, chisel tip, up against the back of the joint, and then we're going to feed uh, our solder. We're going to bring our solder in. Once it starts to flow, uh, we're going to remove the solder. We just need a little bit, and then we're going to wait about two seconds before we remove our um, our soldering iron, and we should have a nice joint. Now, one thing when I, when we when we're talking about uh, feeding the solder into the joint here. Um, there's no need to force this. In fact, you shouldn't be forcing it. You shouldn't be trying to push the solder into the joint. When the joint is properly heated, the solder will just uh, it'll flow, and it'll uh, actually get sucked right into the uh, into the joint uh, through a combination of uh, capillary action and the um, the flux that you had put on the end of the wire earlier will facilitate that. So you don't need to force this. You're not trying to push it into the joint. Uh, just just basically lay the end of that uh, your, your solder you know, onto the joint, and once it starts to, uh, to melt, to flow, just leave it there for a, a, a teeny, you know, fraction of a second. You just need a little bit, and then remove it. Right? It shouldn't be, uh, you know, where if, you're, if you're starting to bend your solder, or if you see that, uh, you know, you're putting a lot of pressure on the, uh, on the uh, connector here, it's probably an indication that you're trying to force the uh, solder into the joint. All right, so let's turn on the, uh, I'll turn on my soldering iron. And we'll just give that a second or two to uh, to heat up, and then we'll try uh, we'll try soldering a couple of these joints here. Again, the one of the keys is going to be to to ensure that your part your uh, uh, tip of your soldering iron is properly tinned and cleaned. So I'm going to start with that. And normally I would do this with a fan running, so that uh, I'm not breathing the fumes. But uh, the fan is noisy, and in the interest of filming here, I've got the fan turned off. So I'm just going to touch a little dab of solder on both sides of the tip there. Uh, it's going to smoke. A little bit, you know, type thing. Then I'm going to take it in if you have your sponge or your brass cleaner, and I'm just going to dab it in there. All right, get, make sure it's nice and clean. It'll be nice and shiny so that I'm ready to go, uh, you know, with my soldering. So here we go. We're going to again take the flat uh, portion of the of that um, chisel tip. We're going to put it up against the back of this um, this joint. We're going to bring our solder into the joint there. It'll, it'll probably take a couple of seconds. It's starting to flow. I just put a little bit in. I remove the solder. Wait a couple of seconds and remove my um, uh, uh, soldering iron from the back of that joint. Now if you take a look at this, uh, I'm not sure we can get too too close on this, you'll just have to take my word for it I guess, but if you take a look at this joint there's a couple of things to notice. One is we have a nice shiny joint, 
all right, and that's usually uh, that's what you're looking for. If you have a dull or a kind of a crusty uh, joint, you may have what they call a cold uh, solder joint, um, uh, which isn't uh, isn't going to be very reliable, and it's not going to uh, you know pass the electrical current. The other thing to notice here is I don't have big gobs of solder in this joint. Again, it's just a teeny, teeny little bit of solder, um, just just enough basically to cover that. And what will happen is you'll actually uh, see this when you first apply the solder. When you pull it away, you wait a couple more seconds with that soldering iron. Again, you'll see the solder just get sucked or drawn right down into the joint, and you know that you've got a good joint. So let's try this again. Let's. Uh, I've got some uh, three additional wires that I've set up here. Uh, that I've crimped up beforehand. All right, the same uh, same setup as we just went through. And again, I'm going to use my my little handy clamp here. I'm going to clamp them up. All right, I've got three of them. And now here's a little tip: when you do this, make sure that you spread them uh, so that you have plenty of room uh, with your soldering iron to get at each of the individual um, uh, spade terminals here. Uh, and the same goes for any type of electrical uh, connector that you might be that you might be working with. So again, we want to make sure that we have a nice clean tip. I like to just uh, make sure that we've always got some solder on there. Make sure it's nice and tinned. We're going to bring it up to the first um, the first joint here. We're going to uh, put it on the back. You'll actually hear the the, the flux um, starting to crackle a little bit. I put just a little bit of solder on there. I wait a couple of seconds and I remove it. All right, and then I repeat the process. So again, I start by cleaning. I'm going to just put a little bit more solder on here. I'm going to clean. I'm going to bring my uh, clean tip of my iron up to the back of that um, terminal. I put my solder in there just a little bit. It's already flowing. Wait a couple of seconds and I remove it. And that's all there is to it. So again, I'm going to tin it. Um, don't be stingy with the solder there. Don't be afraid to uh, to tin your tip on a regular basis. All right, come up to the back of the terminal. Make sure it's the flat, flat to flat. The heat is transferring. I've got just a little bit of solder that's going in there. I wait a couple of seconds and I remove it. And that's really all there is to soldering. I mean, these same te techniques, even though we're using spade connectors, and again, I recommend some sort of electrical connectors like the spade connectors to start to learn. Very, very easy to do, very easy to learn to solder with, and you can apply these same soldering techniques to virtually any other uh, soldering project that you might have. I hope this helped, and uh, good luck with your soldering project.